Why are we so obsessed with aliens? The idea of extraterrestrial life thriving out there in the universe is something you could spend your whole life pondering. How do they live? What are they capable of? Are any of them looking up at the stars, thinking the same as I am right now? Mankind has a deep, intrinsic desire to seek new worlds and life forms, but our love of aliens goes even further than that. We create movies about them. We hallucinate visions of them touching our butts. We spend billions on probes and ships to go looking for microscopic versions of alien life which may not even exist. But why? It hasn't always been this way. So why are we so obsessed with aliens? Number 4. Curiosity The most obvious answer as to why humans are so obsessed with aliens is that we are curious. We want to know. We need to know. Are there others? Are they like us? Do they like us? Such curiosity has driven mankind across oceans and deserts. It has put us in harm's way, and it has wrought upon us some of the most frustrating mental tortures known to man. When Europeans first made contact with the natives of America, we just had to know how these people existed. What was their daily routine like? What were their beliefs? Were they biologically and mentally similar to us? Our race is still dealing with the fallout from the meeting of different ethnicities to this very day. Violence, oppression, and separation are still very much in full force. And when it comes to meeting extraterrestrials, the very same thing will happen eventually. Yet we still pursue this goal. We still find ourselves driving towards technologies which will help us identify and eventually meet and communicate with beings from beyond the stars. But why? Are we really seeking to engage with and to understand alien life forms just to satiate our curiosity? Or are we doing this in a bid to understand ourselves? I suppose we'll only know when such a thing happens. If NASA were to announce the discovery of alien microbes on Mars tomorrow, it would be interesting to see how the world reacts. We are no longer special. We are not the center of the universe. We are not alone. What would that do to the human psyche? On the day we discover aliens exist, does the human race become weaker or stronger? Number 3. Fear Fear makes us do many cool and awesome things. The fear of rejection makes you show off in front of cute boys and girls. The fear of missing out makes you drink alcohol and take fizzy blue pills at parties. And the fear of dying and leaving your family without a sweet cash payout and an alarm clock radio makes you buy life insurance. Awesome. But is fear the driving factor behind mankind's quest to find life in the universe? And if so, what are we scared of? One idea is that we are scared of not finding alien life because of the implications this has for humanity's future. Intelligent life is considered so dangerous that it stands a good chance of wiping itself out whenever a brand new form of doomsday technology is invented. How real this threat is would be made apparent if we knew that intelligent life is either super rare or non-existent on other worlds. Essentially, we are like an insecure young human who doesn't know how we'll cope when we grow up. We need to see other adults to set an example and show us that being an adult is okay. Aliens are our universal space dance. Another possibility is that we're scared of finding alien life because of how impactful this discovery would be upon our beliefs. If we come to know that we are not alone, even through the discovery of something small like tiny Martian microbes, humanity's spiritual and practical priorities change immediately. Fear could be driving us to get this over with, like a band-aid ripped off of a leaky wound so we can quickly endure the turmoil and progress our species as fast as possible. This idea also applies if we're scared of hostile aliens destroying our planet. If we discover them first, we can gauge their threat level, analyze their desires, and either respond to or remove our fear of the unknown. Number 2. Loneliness Another reason humans are obsessed with aliens could be that we're frightened of being alone. 
If mankind truly is the only form of intelligent life within the cosmos, we have an overbearing responsibility to do something with this many-faceted toy we call the universe. There's so much to do, so many places to visit, a litany of weird and bizarre phenomena that we may never fully understand. Humanity does not want to be alone for all eternity. That would be too much to handle. And even if we're not alone and we're just rare, the burden is still immense. We might also take into consideration the fact that human beings are an incredibly social species. Science has identified the feeling of social loneliness as being subjective, and that when we perceive ourselves to have few meaningful relationships, we are at a heightened risk of disease and death. But could a whole species experience this? Having already exhausted all avenues of communication with other humans, dogs, and parrots here on Earth, could it literally kill us to find out there's no one else to talk to? Perhaps this is why, despite never having met an alien, we like to imagine them in films, books, conspiracy theories, and erotic nightmares. By picturing a fictional universe populated with life, it makes us feel a little less alone. We're like a lonely child who invents an imaginary friend. Sometimes that friend bullies us, sometimes they're nice. But they are always there. No matter how alone and isolated you are, within your imagination there is always something other than you. Number 1. Because everyone else is. The concept of a meme, as defined by Richard Dawkins, is described as an idea, style, or behavior which spreads between people within a culture. Dabbing, dreadlocks, and drawing penises in college textbooks can all be said to be memes, having originated in the minds of a few and now being appropriated by the many. And according to psychologists, this is why humans believe in aliens, too. Belief in aliens has increased massively since the 1940s and 50s, and this change in public opinion has been attributed to the mysterious incident at the Roswell Air Force Base in New Mexico. Aliens were considered the realm of science fiction authors and lunatics before then, with the everyday man and woman in the street giving less than two hoots about beings from other worlds. Roswell changed all that. Whatever actually happened there may never be known, but the public decided that this event represented proof that aliens might exist. Over the next few decades, ever further sightings of extraterrestrial life were reported. Abductions, UFOs, secret military cover-ups. The world started to believe, simply because other people said it was real. Some were fraudsters, faking an encounter for financial gain. Others misinterpreted perfectly normal events due to diagnosable psychological disorders or a proclivity for fantasy. A few of those who reported alien sightings genuinely did endure an identifiable physical phenomenon. But altogether, these people have the same effect. They propagate the idea that aliens exist. Their experiences, whether real or otherwise, have spread like a religion. Today, 50% of the United States population believes in alien life. A third think alien spaceships are real. And 3.7 million Americans claim to have experienced an alien abduction. Aliens as a physical, tangible life form have never been proven to exist. But the idea of aliens is very real indeed. And it shows no signs of going away anytime soon. It just makes you wonder. Which crazy person's half-baked ideas will have spread to the mainstream in 100 or 1,000 years' time? If we're so obsessed with aliens, what will our grandchildren and their children come to believe in? We're going to talk about it in our bonus video, Beliefs of the Future, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, You'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of Reality. 
reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality, visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.